What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, okay, before I begin, we are so close to 30,000 subscribers. It is crazy, we did this together. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure to share with all your friends, your, your everyone you know, your grandmother, I don't know. If you wanna support the channel, just do it. Share my video, share with everyone, just do it. it. Means a lot. Oh yeah, also make sure to ring that bell thing on your channel, you know, besides the subscribe button, click it. Ring it. About that, YouTube broke recently, or something like that. People have been telling me that they do not receive my videos in their sub boxes, and some people even told me that YouTube hasn't subscribed them from my channel. YouTube, what the fuck? People are subscribed because they want to see these videos. But no worries, YouTube has a solution. A great solution. You have to ring that bell to get a notification so people will see you upload the video. How genius. I mean, that's why the subscribe button is there. Yes, that is actually the purpose of the subscribe button, but YouTube has changed it, so make sure to ring that bell. It can also be done on your phone besides the subscribe button. Do it, and you will get to see all my videos because you will know whenever I upload a video. And yeah, you, you there, watching, you're right. If you say, like, you upload every Sunday, right? Because I come every Sunday and there's a video, so I don't have that now. That's correct, you do not have this problem because you come back on Sunday and I upload every Sunday, so now you know whenever I upload. Yeah, this video, it's Thursday for me right now. I'm trying to upload it today, so Thursday, that's not Sunday, is it? So you will not miss videos like this, so make sure to hit that bell. But just to make sure, in case you missed it, I uploaded a video on Sunday. It was a yoga workout with my girlfriend. <laughs> We're doing it! Ooh. Push up! <laughs> it was a serious video but ended up pretty funny so make sure to watch that if you haven't seen that because that was last Sunday and I know a lot of you haven't seen it so watch it! Back to this video. So basically a lot of you have been asking a lot of questions about my physique lately and that could maybe possibly have something to do with my video. My insane body transformation. I uploaded a video my one year body transformation and I got a lot of questions about my back. Well there are 1000 comments on that video and possibly like 800 comments of those are questions. I will answer more questions in future videos but today it's going to be about my back. And the question was how did you get your back? How did you get it like that? How did you get it like this? How did you get your Christmas tree? Back. Since it's almost Christmas, let's do a back workout, a Christmas one. In this workout, we will do it with body weights and weights. That is the way I trade my back the most during my one year body transformation. I have made a body weight only slash calisthenics workout in a previous video, so make sure to check that out if you're like interested in that. In today's Christmas tree back workout, we're going to do five exercises. The first one being pull ups, the second one being barbell rows, the third one being deadlifts, the fourth one being dumbbell rows, and the fifth one being you will see. That is going to be the finisher. Exercise number one pull ups. Alright, so first exercise. Pull-ups. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna aim for four sets, two sets normal pull-ups and two sets wide. Just getting that width in the back and just trying to get eight to twelve reps. That's like what I did. And the thing with this is if it's too easy or too hard, you can change, you can modify this exercise. If it's too hard, then do some sets of negatives. So four sets of negatives, eight reps, somewhere like that. Try to get your first pull-ups out there and once you can do those first pull-ups, do three pull-ups per set and do four sets of those. And after that, if you get more advanced, then you can do what I'm going to do right now. But, but, if it's too easy, you know, you want a challenge, then add some weight. Whatever you like, just add some weight. Five kilograms, two kilograms, three pounds. Just add the weight you think is good and just play around with that and just get the gains going. Okay, so pull-ups are the first exercise. Let's do the first set. For pull-ups, the key is to focus on your back. Get that mind-muscle connection with your back and contract those muscles. Every single rep counts, so make sure to do every single rep correctly. No cheating around and no kipping. Don't, just don't do it. Do not, do not do this. This. Do not do that. Okay, so I will get naked right here. Just get out of my shirt, get rid of it. So you can see the muscles that are contracting and that I'm using and how the way my shoulders work, so let's do that. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna take a closer look to my back. Also focus on your shoulder blades and the rotation of them because it's really important. You can seriously damage your body and your, well, your, your shoulder if you do this wrong. You can see here how I'm rotating my shoulders and contracting my back. That's the way you want to do it. Start to pull up in a good comfortable way with shoulder blades apart and after you going up, Try to contract your back and your shoulder blades will go automatically towards each other. And again, full range of motion, going up properly, going down properly, chin above the bar, straight arms and pull. Okay, so that will do it for the first two sets of pull-ups. Now the second two. So the second two, we're gonna do some wide pull-ups. Work pretty much the same, but look like this.
Just make sure you feel it in your back and not just in your arms and you'll be set. The second exercise, barbell rows. As with most of the exercises, focus on a straight back because again, you can injure yourself and you do not want that. Focus on a straight back and contract those back muscles while you're pulling the bar. This is a pretty basic exercise, a barbell row. Like I, maybe you've seen it, but I really like basic movements like pull-ups, barbell row. The next thing is going to be a deadlift. I will get into position. This is a pretty basic movement. You just have the bar, grab it a little bit like wider than shoulder width. Just grab it here. Make sure your legs are tight. Get up, back straight, get down, straight back, and pull. Pull those lats. You can see the muscles contracting here and going into that Christmas tree like position. But that is the barbell row, like the pull ups, 4 sets of 8 to 12 reps. Give them all you got, use a like doable weight for you, this is for me 50 kilograms. Don't go too heavy, make sure the contraction is really good. Okay, exercise number 3, deadlifts. Again a proper back, this can be done fairly easily, just see how I do it and try to mimic the movement. But focus on a straight back and a good contraction at the top of the movement and you will be good. One of the three key movements just in bodybuilding in general. If you look at people doing deadlifts, look at their back, their whole back is most of the time contracting. It's it's just a basic and really important movement. I've seen it a lot I've seen I've seen a lot of people doing it different. There are different types of like ways to do it. You can grab the bar like this, two arms just here, two arms here, straight back and just lift. You know, do it like this and go down with a straight back. It's a little bit lightweight for deadlift, you want to go really heavy, but just for educational purposes, I want to show you the proper form, so that's how I'm going to do it. The last exercise with the barbell, you grab it like this, and the other hand, you do like this. Make sure your legs are in good position, grab the bar tight, and straight back, get up, and you will see the back right now. Okay, something really important, if you're going too heavy, you will notice that by your back arching. That is not the way to do it and you can seriously injure yourself, it can be like really dangerous to your body and you do not want that. And again, I will keep saying this, 4 sets of 8 to 12 reps, I will go for 12 with this one because well, it's a basic movement, it's really important, just get it out there and good luck. Exercise number 4, dumbbell rows. Not only the name of this exercise is look alike with the barbell row, but it's pretty much the same movement with the dumbbell. What you want to do is mimic again my pose, what I'm doing here, and why I'm doing twice, sort of the same exercise right here, because this is individually and you will get the strength and power just in one muscle at once. That's why I'm doing it and I want every muscle fiber to tear apart. And some of the muscles you hit and how hard you hit them are different. So that's why the dumbbell row. Okay, so as with every exercise, get your back straight, Get into this position and as you can see, back straight and row. And row. If you're done with your left arm, go to your right arm. If you're done with your right arm, go to your left arm, obviously. Four sets, eight to 12 reps. You will see my back right now. Okay, you made it so far. Four exercises. It should be burning as hell. The last exercise, a finisher, pull-ups. Yes, again pull-ups. This sort of shows and reflects how much I did the pull-up. I have done the movements thousands and thousands of times in my life because I just love the movement and I think the key to my back and the way it looks and the width is just I can thank that to the pull-up. So that's why it's in here two times. You can never do enough pull-ups and for those who never done pull-ups in their workout schedule, that's why two times because you missed out. And for those who did pull-ups in previous workouts, you can never do enough so... Let's go and do some more pull-ups. What I want you to do for this finisher is three sets. One set, normal pull-ups of 12 reps, 8 to 12 reps. The second set is going to be a variation of that, so a V-grip or a chin-up. What this does, it will hit every part of your back, every muscle, every sort of... And it will hit every head of your bicep. And that's something I want to add to this workout. I did back and bicep in one day. So besides this exercise, I would add two more bicep workouts, but this is going to be a back workout. So that's what I just want to add. If you want to see that, make sure to hit that like button and tell me in the comments below. So these are the variations. V-grip. Again, focus on that back. And go fully down and up. So chin above the bar, straight arms, chin above the bar, straight arms. So first set, normal pull ups like I showed you in the beginning. Second one, you do some V grips, and the third one, you do some chin ups. The chin up, up, fully down, up, 
fully down. The grip is just a little bit closer. Some people think it's more easy and some people just, you know, love the normal pull-up. I really like the normal pull-up. So yeah, yeah, it's 10 or brownie. What should the rest be? How long should we rest for? Try to aim for as less rest as you can, so 30 seconds to one minute between sets and a little bit more between the different exercises and you will be good. And that's another thing, how you can adjust this exercise. If you want to make it easier, just do a little bit more time between the exercise and reps, so a little bit more rest. And if you want to make it harder, then obviously just do almost no rest and it will be hard as fuck. You will die, I guarantee that. And that's about it. I wish you a lot of luck with doing this exercise. Let me know what you thought of this exercise in the comments below if you did it and if you did Try it out for white pull-ups. Try to go as high as you can, maybe six reps maximum. I know, it's just for me, I know they're harder to do than a normal pull-up, so that's why I would recommend doing a little bit lower. If you can do more, do more. Get everything out of your training. I mean, that's the most important thing I wanna show you right now. You have to go to the maximum in order to get a great physique. It means a lot to you, probably, to get and obtain that physique. So put some work and effort in it and you will obtain that physique easily. You can do it. So this is the end of this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers. Wait. Wait, we can do this. Hit the subscribe button, hit that bell thing. I don't know why YouTube, but it doesn't matter. Make sure to check out my previous video that I uploaded on Sunday with my girlfriend. It would mean a lot. Just hit the like button on that video. Hit the like button on this video. Hit the like button. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me in pursuing my dream and doing this. I really love making videos for you guys. It just means a lot. Hitting that subscribe button, hitting that comment section below I read every single comment I do I really do I just it, I get a notification every time someone comments on my video so I mean I see pretty much all the comments and like 99% of those are nice so that's that's crazy my channel has been going insane lately I don't know I don't have any words for it but thank you I hope to see you this Sunday because as always I will upload a video right then make sure to comment in the comment section below what kind of video you want to see ask me some questions everything I'll reply I'll make a video maybe about it if you're like yeah and I will see you in my next video goodbye